Hey, Lorimer, good to see you. Dave, good to see you. Five years since, um, or almost five years since um, Explain Pain came out. Ah, it's amazing, isn't it? Well, it's been quite a trip. Five years? Of, it hasn't? Yes, how's it been for much? you? Yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been amazing, hasn't it? It's turned out to be a lot bigger than I'd anticipated. I it's think. been a lot bigger. When I wrote it, I had no idea where this would go, and oh. it's gone to all parts of the world in numerous languages. What are your experiences? Oh, look, uh, I just went through it again just this morning for the first time in some time. And yeah. I'm like, I'm reading it and thinking, this is good. This I is know. Good. Like I said, I'm proud of it. And but I think the, thing, the things that strike me about it are the response out there. Mm. And, and I guess from, from a perspective of a scientist, which is you know, technically what I am, I guess, I've been really wrapped with how well it's been received in the medical and scientific community, now, yeah. which we were a bit nervous about. Yeah? Well, we were. Yeah. We were nervous about putting such complex biology in such simple and occasionally humorous and irreverent yeah. language. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What, what's the highlight? Well, we, the highlight, I think, is when our, our secretary gets a call from somebody. It could, be a, it could be a doctor, it could be a receptionist, it could be a patient who just says, Thanks. Mm. Thanks. Mm. That made a lot of sense. And that's been one of the most mm. rewarding things for us. Mind you, it hasn't worked for everybody. No. My brother, for example, has a sore neck out on the farm. I said, read, explain pain. He rang me up and said, I've read it three times, Dave. Don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that is because he's your brother. <laughs> well, I guess so. I, I guess. refuse to show it to my brothers. Yeah. Uh, it's the old story, don't treat family. No, that's right. Don't give family your books. And Lauren, what about the research world? Um, what do you feel is happening there in this area of explain pain? Yeah, I think, I, I guess our objective was not really to, to create this treatment tool, was it? It was like no. a resource for clinicians mm. and for patients. But what I'm seeing now, I re review manuscripts, journal articles for journals. And mm. I've seen you know, a good half a dozen experiments now come, come through the journal where people have, have actually taken the book Mm. and said, what happens when you give this book to patients to a certain group, with well, yeah. pain and, yeah. and with other you know, painful disorders? And yeah. I guess that's the thing that's exciting. That you can now see a ripple effect out across the community of researchers and yeah. clinicians. Yeah. And you know, the body of evidence is growing, and that's, that's really that's nice. That's great. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, I think, and I didn't realise this five, six years ago when we were writing it, um, the big shift in in um, health systems, in government health thinking towards mm -hmm. more self-management. And of course, yeah, education is sure. a critical part of self-management. So I like to feel the explain pain movement, if you want to call it, fits in very yeah. nicely with societal shifts. Yeah, yeah. The, I know I live in the UK now, as you know, mm. and um, it's been really nice seeing the, pa the expert patient program grab hold of this yeah. sort of thing and say... This is the messages of, of, of books like this. Yeah. What, what about this though, Dave? I, I've had this from a couple of colleagues, you know, you know, for whom I have a great deal of respect. That they've, they haven't actually read the book, but they've said, oh, education uh, doesn't work. Yeah, oh, education yeah. to behaviour change is like spaghetti to a brick. Yeah. And how do you respond to that? I mean, what, what is your response to that? I think the response is, for me, is what kind of education? Mm -hmm. And, and as, you, as you know, I'm nearly completing a doctorate in, in, in um, education strategies around, around chronic pain. And, and there's an enormous number of variables that okay. could impact on the outcome. And, um, you know, just like any te technique or any treatment, there's quite a skill to it. There's a yep. skill to this as well, too. And a lot of the skill is recognising the variables that might be impacting prior to a, a, sure. an education meeting or during it, or even the variables that might contribute to maintaining any improvement after. Well, I wish I had you there when I had this conversation. My response was, it's not the, the key is how you deliver it. I suppose it's the same thing. Well, that's thing. one little, yeah, one yeah. part of it. Yeah. It's, it's an atypical textbook in that sense, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, uh, how many textbooks have, have those sort of drawings and things? Yeah. yeah. Talk about the drawings. I'd like to tell you what I think and what you've heard are the, the drawings or the bits that people really enjoy or have helped them. What have you found? Uh, the, I had a, a key experience quite early on actually, be, uh, um, very soon after we did this, that one patient who was sort of, you know, I was talking to him and he was pretty you know, blank faced. Yeah. 
And then we got onto this orchestra in the brain playing the pain tune picture. I think that's this is the one that one the there, orchestra in the brain. But that there's the one playing the brain there. Yeah, there was one playing the pain tune and oh um, yes, when everybody's one, sick yeah. and vomiting and, uh, and and he look, we opened that that up and he looks at it and <laughs> he just he became overwhelmed and so did I. And, and for him that was the picture that spoke to him and really got him it engaged. And from then on, we were talking the same language. Yeah. And yeah, that was a beautiful experience. And yeah. What about you? Well, I think the mountain metaphors of, or the Twin Peaks model yeah. have been yeah. really, really helpful to, for people to, to just to, I think just to see, you know, I know it's been a bit of a mantra in, in pain management for some time, this oh, hurt does not equal harm. Or as I like to say, you're, you're, um, you might be sore but you're safe. And to have a model that shows yeah. them where they can climb a mountain or yeah. sit on a, on a seat or drive a tractor has been yeah. particularly helpful. But I, on that, I, I agree it's been a mantra. Hurt doesn't equal harm. But the thing that, I mean, as you know, and half the motivation for, for this book, I guess, for us was patients hear that. But it makes absolutely no sense unless you understand why hurt doesn't equal harm. Exactly. And that's been a beautiful thing, hasn't it? To see, to see patients go, ah. Oh, so that's why. That is, uh -huh. And then yeah. to be able to take that aha, uh -huh, not just in the clinic, but to be able to go out in society, have yeah. pain, and be able to then think, okay, why am I hurting now? Yeah. And to realise too that it might not just be some inputs coming in from a bit of extra strain or groaning on tissues, yep. but it could be the, the context, the thoughts or the beliefs or the mother-in-law, yeah. the father-in-law, yeah. which are constructing the pain experience. So it's, it's teaching them how to learn yep. and using biology as the, as the narrative. Five years down the track, yes. what would you do differently in this now, if anything? Um, I wouldn't do a lot differently. I wouldn't do a lot differently. I think we'd write things a bit differently, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. There's a bit of wording there. We'd have a few more references to back up some of the. I think things we'd that probably have. We'd on. probably have three or four times the key the key references. Um, we may have um, the about the available in five years to show more graphically some of the biological yep. processes that occur yep. in the brain and, and in the and in the um, in the rest of the body. Yeah. What about you? Oh, look. One thing that I that I've heard several times is is the question, but but what about after surgery? What about after spinal surgery? And so I think I'd now stick in a, at least, you know, even if it's just a, a statement to say spinal surgery is just like an injury. Yeah, it was yeah. just performed by people mm. who were supposed to be fixing it or something. Yeah. Um, and I guess a lot of my research since we did this has been doing complex regional pain syndrome, phantom limb pain, spinal yes. cord injury related yes. pain. I think we could probably have stuck a little bit more about that in there, but we didn't know much about that. No. In fact, no one did, really. Let's face it. Five know, years ago. A lot in the yeah. last five so years. there's some precious information to come out. If you ever get around to doing another issue, it'd be another edition. Oh, it'd be fun though, wouldn't it? Yeah, another edition. it is fun. One of the most interesting experiences for me was yes. uh, working at Oxford University and having the book open yeah. with some of Sunyata's very intriguing and sometimes and the queen, confronting queen questions. In. Well, the Don, the local Don, yeah. the physiology, walked past and was quite quite snotty faced initially but he asked to buy a copy David. Oh beautiful, did you yes. give it to him? Well, I gave it to him free, I hope that's okay. I <laughs> no said, problems, I thanks. Said, Dear prof, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Good on uh, you. Any disasters? You have mentioned uh, Explain Pain Pain. Oh yeah, Explain Pain Pain. I've got to mention this because there has been a few cases and let me say, probably more than a few, I, I think I might hear this in, maybe once a month, somebody often very sensitive, has read the book and said, huh, reading the book hurt me. I got more pain or, or sweating after. Yeah, yeah, right. But it's very interesting because if that person's in the hand of a skilled therapist, they should be able to realise that, hang on, let's go back and use that. Yeah, because, oh, that's cool. Because well, that's cool. Because yeah. what the book is, is to some people it's a threat and, and, yeah. and the threat, pain is one way of defending from threat, yeah. increased pain, increased sweating. Yeah, beautiful. Marvellous. Terrific.